Chapter on the one who starts something good or something bad. The one who calls others to guidance or misguidance. It was narrated that Jarir ibn Abdullah said, Some Bedouins came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, wearing woolen garments. And he saw their bad condition and that they were in need. So he urged the people to give in charity. But they were so slow that his disapproval could be seen in his face. Then an Ansari man brought a purse of silver. Then another came, and they came one after another, until signs of happiness could be seen in his face. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever starts a good practice in Islam that is followed after he is gone, there will be written for him a reward like that of those who do it, without that detracting from their reward in the slightest. Whoever starts a bad practice in Islam that is followed after he is gone, there will be written for him a burden of sin like that of those who do it, without that detracting from their burden in the slightest. Footnote During the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, woolen garments were considered coarse clothing and were used by the poor. It was narrated that Jarir said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, delivered a khutbah and urged people to give charity. A hadith like that of Jarir, hadith number 6800. Jarir ibn Abdullah said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, No one starts a good practice that is followed after he is gone. Then he mentioned the hadith in full as hadith number 6800. This hadith was narrated from Al-Mundir ibn Jarir, from his father, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, a narration similar to hadith number 6800. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever calls others to guidance will have a reward like that of those who follow it, without that detracting from their reward in the slightest, and whoever calls others to misguidance, will have a burden of sin like that of those who follow it, without it detracting from their burden in the slightest.